Mirror we've already talked about in depth, but Mirror is basically the culmination of all of our mirroring workflows that we've ever attempted in HardOps combined into one. I'm hovering over it to let you know that there's a D menu for adjustment. You can press A to add an additional mirror whenever you're using it, and you can press X to reset it to default in the event that you have the mirror configured in a way that you don't understand. Usually whenever you use mirror, you just bring it up on a single selection, you're able to mirror things over, and normally close after operation would be on, and then it would exit. And so what this means is that now we have a mirror modifier on here, and if we perform a Boolean, we can see that occur on the other side without issue, and it's just automatically taken care of due to sorting. If we look at our modifier stack, you can actually see that in action as I'm working. However, I didn't mean to actually turn that shape into a Boolean, but you know we'll just roll with that. And so we'll just shift A, add another one here, and perform a difference, and we're just looking at our mod stack, and that's basically mirror in a nutshell. However, what if we wanted to utilize it to its fullest? Because going through operations and bringing up mirror is just one way to do it, but the hotkey of Alt-X is definitely the recommended entry point for getting to the mirror in hard ops. So let's say that we had a cube up here in space, and we shift selected the main shape and we pressed alt x well now even though these handles are showing what's going on with the active selection it's a little bit misleading because right now we're in what's called two mirror it basically will mirror this shape across this shape so if we click on mirror we've now mirrored this shape to the other side and we can just do what we want with this without any sort of issues so when it comes to mirror you're able to do more than just simple mirroring. In fact, we can make a new file. One of my other favorite ways to use mirror is to jump to just simple bisect and just split a mesh in half. And then I'll just grab an edge, bevel it, you know, bring in my cube, drag it out, start working aside. Uh, then I'll use actual mirror by bringing up Alt X and pressing X to reset it. But instead of closing after operation, I want to hold shift so we keep it and we want to mirror on both of these sides, releasing shift on the second axial click, which was on the Y. And now we can actually continue working as if we were, you know, just mirroring and having symmetry, just a good old time, just us, you know, just doing some uh, hard ops cutting with classic shift A shapes. And we'll just scale this out and perform a difference and we see that that's already on the other side and there's so much more that you're able to do with mirror when you use it creatively like I haven't talked about the modifiers yet but let's say I wanted to mirror this another type of way I could press Q go under modifiers and we choose to displace but I'll press X to mirror it not on the Y but on the Z and we'll just move this up so it's at least penetrating on the axial line let's try that again We'll displace it so it's just about there. And then we'll press Alt X. And instead of mirroring on the Z, we'll press A to add a new mirror and we'll mirror it on the Z, but using a new mirror. And if we look at our modifier stack, you can see kind of what's going on here. And just to show the results of actually working in such a fashion, we can now work using localized symmetry just on the Z that isn't actually going around to the Y axis to really get unique with the shape. So, you know, when it comes to a mirror modifier, you can mirror as long as you have to, and then you can actually just stop mirroring and just mirror, you know, asymmetrically on a different axis. You could even get even more creative than that and just bring in a mirror that does nothing, which I'm not recommending, but I'm just letting you know that it's an option. We're going to shift that to be a union there we go and so now we're working that way and this is just a completely different way to approach things but it is just um, you know if um, I have to do a section talking again about mirror then we might as well just um, you know talk about some of the other things that can come about with mirror in fact I just mirrored this twice using new mirror I'm just letting you know that that's regrettable there should be no need to have two mirrors to mirror this over so let's try just changing it to X We'll just mirror that over and then mirror it below. Even though it's not needed, sometimes it's fun to just mirror bull shapes. So we'll just duplicate this shape here and press S, X. 
scale it out, bring it over here, select both of these, Q difference, and we're able to mirror here. And then let's say we want to mirror it to the other side of the Y without actually adding the mirror modifier. So there's multiple levels of mirror modifier that you can be dealing with. Like there's mirroring on your shapes, there's mirroring on your target, there's mirroring on your shape across itself. And then there's of course additional mirrors that you can add depending on what type of uh, levels you're trying to step up to. But we did want to make mirrors uh, possible as possible for users to get the most functionality of it. And so that also means that if we press Alt X on this main shape, we can change what mirror that we're looking at. And so let's say I no longer want to mirror on that axis. We can do that. I can jump back to this and we can just change what axis we're mirroring on. We could actually jump back in here again. And you know we want to just not remove this version and we'll jump to the next one and maybe want to mirror differently maybe we don't want to mirror on the z maybe we want to mirror on the z a different way you can do all of that just using the exact same tool and just jumping through which modifier of the mirror that you're currently modifying and notice that you know as i change the mirror it's highlighting which one that is in the stack in fact as i work on this i'm already thinking about what if whenever we jump to different modifiers that we had it disable all the mods to that point in the stack so you could evaluate it even more efficiently maybe on a toggle but you know the more i talk about these tools the more i realize that there's always more work to be done in the course of, over the course of trying to obtain that long long quested perfection but hopefully that has shed a little bit more insight on mirror